Good morning. Good morning. And today is our day three here in Sagada. That's right, day three. And it's coming here sa Dap Eye. They call it Dap Eye. It's a replica of Dap Eye. Ah, uh, what? Dap Eye. A replica of Dap Eye. Dap Eye. That's right. Oh, because it's the place where they have their meetings, their rituals. Yeah, so it's going to be used by their bonfires. Then there are stones around, no? So I guess oh. that's where they hang out and get together and assemble. Mm -hmm. With a with a warm, ano. But anyway, today we are very excited. Uh, we'll be going around and discover more of of uh, Sagada today. Uh, first off, we'll go to the uh, Saint Mary the Virgin Church. Yes. Then we'll head out to the cemeteries. No, the new cemetery. Ah, oh, meron ba? Yes, and the old cemetery, which is the, uh, the, the hanging, ca hanging coffin. Hanging coffins. That's, that's right. And then after that, we will go to the car uh, coffee. Farm, coffee farm, and then I think we're gonna head off to the entrance of the underground cave. Oh, if we're lucky enough, we may be able to capture more sites. Uh, I think uh, since this is day three, we'd like to cool, to go to as many places as possible so we can take you along and show you how beautiful Sagada is. Yes. So, take it now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So now we're here at the uh, St. Mary the Virgin mm -hmm. Church so of Sagada. Tara, pasok tayo. Oh, well, let's give respect. The Church of St. Mary the Virgin is the main Episcopal church in Sagada. Built in 1904, American missionaries led by Reverend John Staunton built the church after the Philippines was ceded to the U.S. by Spain. Ano ang tawag sa lugar na to? Ano ba? Dito or dyan? Hindi, dito lang talaga. Access boot. Hindi, pero ang tawag sa trail na to? Sir? Ang tawag sa trail. Trail? Pike? Ano mo? Okay. Halika na nga. Kaya tayo makukuha sa akin. Good morning! Let's go! Energy, energy! So we're here now sa the Church of St. Mary the Virgin. Ito yung kailang modernong simenteryo. Uh, dito sa Sagada, sinisilibrate namin yung uh, undas. We call that pinag-aapoy. Pinag-aapoy. Yes, pinag-aapoy. The word apoy. Mm -hmm. Is, diba? Yung sa inyo sa Maynila is nagdadala kayo ng flowers, pagkain, kandila, kandila nagtitake ng oh. kandila. Dito po sa amin is yung little bonfire. Ah, like ayun pala o. Oh. Kaya pansin nyo, bawat tomchaan may, may mga uling. Ah, okay. At ang ginagamit namin is yung nabanggit ko kanina dun sa dapay na salang. Salang. Salang is uh, salang. 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 Saling. Saling yun pero. Saling pero pag ano. Salung. Pag i-pronounce namin, salung. Salung. <laughs> yan. Saling, salung. Uh, yun kasi is, uh, pag sinindian mo yan, madali siya lumiyam, madali umapoy. Para siyang may content ng gas. Oh, Unlike, yeah, yung salung. Unlike yung ordinary kahoy, Na, oh, oh. kailangan mo pang lagyan ng gas bago ah, sumindi. Ah, ano. Diba? So, pang sindi namin yung salung. Especially sa mga lamig na climate, di ba, hindi magpasindi. Galing yan actually sa pine trees. Uh, aware ba kayo na magkaka-text mate ang mga text ano mate. dito? Uh -oh. Sige nga. Ah, sige. Bakit? Kasi malakas ang signal nila. 
Sabi ko na nga ba eh. <laughs> Sabi ko na nga ba. <laughs> Pang ilang beses mo ginamit yung joke na yan. So ito yung salong na, na wood na ginagamit para sa undas, pag-undas, pag-siga. Uh, sa bonfire nila every November 1st. So i-try and isubukan natin kung gano'ng combustible na. So we're here sa Hangang Kaopin and uh, we have to keep our yung tone ng boses natin mababa. Mababa natin kasi uh, to, to, respect. Be, to respect the dead. That's right. Um, so I think this has been here for the last two millennia. Um, this is where the old cemetery used to be. No? This is how they bury the dead. Uh, ngayon ba na nag pero pa rin nag uh, Nililibing yeah. dyan? Uh, on this area, uh, nag-stop na po siya. Okay, so wala na. Actually, for tourism. Ah, okay. So yeah, they pero, just wanted to show. Yes, pero kung gusto pa rin ng gawin yung old tradition, okay lang. Mm, okay. But mostly talaga ngayon, ang ginagamit na is yung cemetery. I'm curious though, bakit uh, ginagawa nila na hanging Tsaka mataas yung mm -hmm. before. Uh, actually, ito yung uh, old way ng paglilibing. Ang ginagawa kasi namin is hinahang or nilalagay sa mga entrances ng cave malayo sa mga bahay mm -hmm. para maprotektaran sa mga animals. Like, kaya hinahang para hindi abutin ng mga animals. Mm -hmm. Like before na nilagay lang nila sa tabi ng bahay, inano ng hayop. So, uh, dito nila sa mga malalayo. At mataas. Mostly sa mga limestones, like this one, di ba, limestone? Pero bakit? Ang, ang batay ba eh, katabi dapat sa bahay? Kasi sabi mo, may... Noon, parang observe nila yon. Ah, okay. Kasi hindi pa naman, before American missionaries po na nakarating dito, hindi kami marunong maglibing yung mm. cementerio. So ito yung way ng paglibing namin. Oh, okay. So, Either entrances ng cave, o kaya sa mga... Uh, ito, mga limestone, mga mm. hindi masyadong naulanan, hindi masyadong naarawan. So, napapreserve siya. So, maraming hanging coffins na area dito, hindi lang ito? Yes po. Ito lang po yung pinaka-accessible para sa mga turista na puntahan. Okay. So, from, from dito, pababa dyan, actually, ang baba kasi niyan is hanggang sa Lumiang Memorial Cave, madami po yan, uh, coffins. Ah. Uh -huh. So, ito, ito lang ang pinaka-accessible. Accessible. Tsaka makiki, madaling makita. Uh, malalapitan natin. Mm -mm. So, ang talaga itong area ng to, sa mga libingan itong area ng to. Mm -mm. So, uh, kaya tayo mahina, kaya hinihina natin boses because burial site po ito hanggang doon sa baba. Talipati dito. Uh -oh. Doon sa may uh, entrance ng uh, underground river, merong isa doon. Ah, uh, okay. May mga kapasyon, pero isa lang yung makikita natin doon. Mm -hmm. Gusto ko lang tanungin kayo kung anong naging observation ninyo dito sa hanging coffins. Well, ako, sige, ikaw muna. Ako, ako, siguro, luma na. At meron silang 
Yung mga pangalan. Sa mga size, ayan. Yeah. Tsaka Malang. maliliit. Mm-mm. Dahil? Mm, okay, ganito yan. Ito pong mga uh, pangalan is, dito po sa Sagada, meron kaming mga igurot name. Ah. Di ba kami ang mga igurot? Mm-mm. Ang salita namin is Kankana, oy. Mm-hmm. Sam Kanaoy. Kan Kanaoy. Ang igurot kan name na yun is, kumbaga sa Katagaluban is mga nickname. Mm-hmm. Pero sa amin kasi, ang igurot name is, uh, galing yan sa pangalan ng mga ninuno namin. Oh. Pasa-pasa yan. Parang apelido natin, no? Yeah, actually, apelido din yung iba, mostly sa mga lalaki, apelido, uh, yun yung mga igurot name nila. Sa so, halimbawa, ako pumunta ako sa ibang lugar, babalik ako dito for how many years, matutuntun ko ang pamilya ko, through my igurot name. Okay. Kasi magkakapangalan yung magkakaangkan. Yan. At yun ay bin- binibigay ng mga matatanda during, mm. uh, kumbaga meron kami kasing binyag. Ah, parang binyag. ano? Tawag namin doon is gubgubaw. Yeah. Yung pagka yun natanggal yung nabal, mm-hmm. nag-fall off yung nabal, mm. doon ginagawa. Yung mga oldies ang nagbibigay ng igurot niyo. Okay. Okay. Isa pa kung, ba't pa pa siya may mga upuan? Yes, dito, pag inyo yung maliit, may mahaba, oh, may po, sa amin, ang uh, ginagawa namin during uh, lamay, oh, oh. pinapaupo namin yung patay. We call that sinangadil. Ah, naka- Bakit? Nakaupo siya. Bakit nakaupo? Yun yung uh, traditional namin na uh, way ng paglalamay. Pagburol. Pag, yung, oh, oh. yung namatay ang nakaupo? Yes po. Tapos sa pagka, tapos na yung burol, saka siya i-lalagay sa kafin. kabaong. kabaong. At actually dito kasi, inuuna muna pala ang kabaong na ilalagay dito sa umaga, kasunod ang bangkay sa hapon, ang bangkay i-fetal position yun. Ah, Kaya ay, 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 maliit. Iyan yung maliit. Hanging coffins. Uh, yun ay isa sa way ng paglibing ng mga old way ng paglilibing. So ngayon makikita natin on this side, side yung isa pang style. Hindi hindi siya pwede nakahang, kundi sa butas ng uh, bato. Pwede mo siyang isuksok basta yung hindi masyado na arawan, hindi masyado na initan para napapreserve siya. So uh, we're here in the middle of uh, our trek to the coffee farm. Nakita namin tong malaking kuwebang ito. Walang pangalan siya. Pero we tried to go down and uh, try to go in. Go in. But but hindi ang malalim siya actually. I mean it's it's deep a uh, deep cave. Um, but from what we understand Also is that when it rains, pag nagpo-flow ang tubig, it gets really deep. So, uh, they don't really encourage tourists to go inside the cave. But nevertheless, it's really quite breathtaking. And uh, enchanting. We didn't, we didn't expect to see this cave here. Maganda. No? So, we're here in the coffee farm, uh, part ng tour ng uh, yung church at saka yung uh, coffee farm. Ito yun. So, uh, as you can see, the beans are here. Hindi ako familiar with it. Kung ito ba ay pwede nang igamitin o hindi. Yeah, but mainly the, the beans of, the coffee beans of 
Sagada. Sagada. Or, uh, Arabica. Arabica. Arabica Sagada. And they're known to be of perfect balance, so not too strong, not too mild. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's uh, aromatic, mm -hmm. no, not too acidic. Um, yeah, that's why they're very popular. That's why we're going to get a lot of coffee beans to bring home from here. Yes. Imagine what? Talagang yung sa climate niya, tapos nasa gitna siya sa loob ng mga forest. Kaya parang, siguro that makes the, ano, the coffee masarap, no? Yeah, and if you notice, we've been taking the coffee for, well, since we got here, ano siya, may parang chocolate uh, notes, oh, 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 oh. no? Hindi lang just coffee, parang there's a tinge of, of chocolate also with it. Kaya makes it really special. Layo sa mga commercial na kato na sa labas, no? And I think they call that particular variety uh, Benguet. Arabica. Benguet Arabica. Oh, Benguet Arabica. So we were hoping to get coffee here, but there's nobody here at the moment. Uh oh. Um, maybe because nga kaka open lang nila. But nevertheless, I'm sure we can get it elsewhere. But nice to you know to see the place where they grow. Uh oh. The popular uh, coffee beans of oh. Sagada. Yes. So after going through the coffee bean farm, coffee, oh, bean coffee farm, farm, coffee farm, uh, and traversing some dangerous rivers, and we rocks. finally got to the last point of this tour. And this is this is the entrance of the underground river. And actually, uh, if we penetrate the underground, it took five to seven minutes. Saloob. Mm. Tapos, uh, dati kasi iyan ang ginagawa. So, pagka ano mo ng underground, babaybayin mo yung ilog hanggang sa Baby Falls. We call that Bokong Falls, pero... Ah, so dahil, this leads to yung Baby Falls? Yes. Okay. Pero nga, dahil sarado ang mga falls, sarado ang cave, bawal tayong mag ano sa mga closed area. Okay. Agad dito na lang po tayo, exit na tayo. Ah, okay. Uh, so, for now, at least, no, sarado yung cave. Yung falls, tinanggal mo nila yung tubig? Huh? Ha? Hindi! Ano? Pinag-stop mo na pagpasok kasi... Kaya nga, sinap yung tubig. Ano yung stop at tubig? Ah, anyway. hindi lang pwede pumasok. Okay. So anyway... Ha? Bawal lang talaga. Bawal lang for now. So best if you are planning to come here to Sagada to check with the local tourism office. So they would know, or they would tell you which, which tours are open by the time you intend to visit. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Um, so with that, we'll end our tour, and I think it's about time that we head off for lunch. Yes. No? Finally. 
Congratulations, you made it. Uh, yung mga nag travel if you go to a place, respetuhin nyo yung lugar. So, huwag kayong magawa ng mga vandalism. Don't desecrate the place. Uh, as mamaya, magtanya mo, ang dami yung mga, ano, mga vandalism. Oh. Dapat be cautious at aware at respect naman the environment. It's respect the place. di ba? Mm. Alin na po kayo dito sa Sagara, kami open, uh, open na po yung tourism namin. Alright. Thank you. Hi. Good afternoon and welcome po sa Pottery. Ako po si Ardeth, yung tatlo kami kasi nag-work dito. Ako yung isa sa kanina. So, uh, ang workshop na ito ay nag-start ng year 2000 by Archie Stapleton. Anak po siya ng American missionary who came here in the 1960s. He saw the potential of our local clay. Kaya pumunta siya ng States, mm -hmm. nag-aral ng Pottery. And then he came back to teach the local people as uh, uh, an alternative livelihood. So, uh, isa po siyang igurot. Mas, mas, mas igurot siya sa amin eh. Talaga. <laughs> Oo. Okay. Kaya, kaya siya, kaya siya bumalik for, okay. ano. Anyways, there are three kinds of pottery. There is the earthenware, stoneware, and, uh, um, porcelain. So, ang, 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 earth, ang difference po ng tatlo is ang earthenware, yun po yung mababa ang luto nila. So, mababa ang luto. 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 Yung open so, meat, oh. yung parang pwede silang maghukay lang dyan, ah, okay, lahat okay. yung mga pots, yung mga, yung lutuan, yung It's ginagawa simple. sa, ano, sa kalinga. Yung, oh, yung, okay. Okay. So, ang ginagawa po namin is stoneware. Ang stoneware po, dalawang beses niluluto, at saka to a very high heat. Pareho po sa porcelain. So, hindi po ibig sabihin yan na may potential ang clay natin. Pwede na natin dyan kunin. And then we bring them here and then we make a pot out of it. What we do is we have to um, scout kung saan namin kukunin, kung nakakasira sa environment, hindi po ah, pwede. Okay. So, ang ginagawa namin, especially kung may mag- uh, widening, ng Guys. road widening or whatever, at kung nakita namin na maganda yung clay, kukunin namin, we have to test it to that high temperature. We have to process it. Ang, ang hirap ng processing niya eh. So, and then we test it many times para... The quality uh, of the clay. The quality okay. of the clay will... Ano sa stoneware na ginagawa okay. namin. Okay. So, that's it po. Okay. So, you got, this, you got this and made it into that by just molding it. <laughs> yes. But first is we have to see them. After bringing them in, oh. we, uh, we soak them in okay. water for three to four months wow. for to be um, separated. Wow. And then we sieve them two times. And then uh, we mix them with, uh, because it's 70% local clay and 30% from other, uh, from commercial clay kasi hindi po makakastan yung local clay na yun. No? Yeah, so we have to mix them and then we age them. 
for at least uh, two months, three months before using them. Wow. Before. Okay. Ito na yung okay. okay. So, gawin po natin siya. First of all, is we have to center the plate. Yeah, so we after that uh, trail we had a uh, tour we had earlier this morning, we decided we had more time and we went to the tourism office and this is one of the tours that they recommended and referred to us. So we're here now to check out how it's made, how relevant it is, and Bob's actually gonna try to make a piece. Let's see how he does. With your hands? Yes. Party. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> more. More. <laughs> Sige pa po. Lalim na. Pasok. Okay. Sagada na talaga. <laughs> Separate. Sige na talaga. Sumasama. Um, Mata matras yun. Ah, Separate. Separate. Yan. Enough na po. Sir. Mm. At this point, sir, we're going to make a cylinder. And I'm oh, going so to help you. Is it okay if I'll hold your hands? Ah. Huwag ka lang ma-attach siya. Iyak ka na naman. Oh my gosh. May in-love ka na naman. Oh. Kasi iyak ka na naman bukas. Huwag <laughs> kang iiyak. Sige lang. Very up, good. You're up, doing it right. Up to the up. top. Steady lang ang kamay. Up, 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 up. This is our native delicacy. Mm -hmm. Ay, pinikpikan pala. Yes, yeah. It's our native yeah. delicacy. Mm -hmm. Na talagang kinakain sa sagada. And then, yung bowl na yung specific to pinikpikan. Really? Oh, ganda. Oh, wow. Pwede rin. So that's it. That concludes our day three in Sagada. Yes, and uh, we had a parang jump pack the day today, and uh, a lot of learnings. Learnings. Kala ko flirtings. Learnings, okay. Okay, learnings. And nalaman namin mga learn. Wala pa sa parang learnings. And we, I think we we got a deeper appreciation of the culture and the people. Yes. Here, here in Sagada, no? mm -hmm. um, and we'd like to take the chance to, to invite you guys to come over to Sagada. It's uh -oh. finally reopened after practically two years of being closed down to tourists. No, best time to go is now. Um, glass half full, no? uh, right now. There are not a lot of people, so it's a perfect way, perfect time to go around because mm -hmm. you can go on all the tours without being hampered, hampered by too many people. Yes. But at the same time, um, not a lot of establishments are open yet. They're still waiting for you tourists and guests to come over to Sagada for them to reopen in a bigger way. Yes. Um, come and feel and explore and experience Sagada. Important. Maganda. Parang akala mo Sagada lang yung malamig na lugar, pero mas malalim pala siya. Mas, uh, mas uh, malalim ang malalaman mo about Sagada. Yep. So once again, we hope you like this episode and this series of vlogs. It's Zagada. I'm Herbie. I'm Bobby. Of the next stop, Travel, Travel Blog. Blog. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for upcoming detail, uh, events, uh, videos, updates. and updates. That's right. So until next time, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.